Hey there, friends. Dibs again. Out here in the garage today doing a little bit of goofing around. And before we get into any shooting or anything like that, <clears throat> I've got a quick mail call for you guys. A couple of packages coming in. Um, one of them is uh, a package coming in from uh, one of my subscribers. We'll just call him Ted. Uh, he reached out to me and asked me to take a look at this uh, rifle-sized <laughs> box for him. And... Uh, <clears throat> I have no problem doing that. If uh, anybody else has anything that they want me to take a look at for them, air gun wise, uh, I guess the only kind of stipulation I think I would throw out there is, uh, you know, kind of reimburse for the shipping and any parts I would have to buy. I'm not really worried about any labor or anything like that, but uh, I don't want to have to. Uh, incur any costs as far as uh, shipping like that goes or anything but um, this uh, this one is a supposed to be a Daisy Buzz Barton which we've seen a couple of on the channel here recently <clears throat> and uh, Ted uh, seems to think this one needs a reseal so uh, we're gonna go ahead and check it out and diagnose it and uh, see what we think it needs uh, these originally were leather sealed uh, these can be resealed with uh, both original leathers which I probably will do if this is a nice looking gun um, or uh, they can also be uh, resealed with uh, a rubber seal set as well if you want to try to get a little bit more performance out of them Right, so this is the shot tube and looks like he's got it all taken apart so <laughs> maybe we won't get to test it uh, today but uh, got it packed up real well so we have the uh, the shot tube and uh, this is an early version buzz barton i can tell just by looking at that shot tube <laughs> like my uh, shot tube that I or uh, my bus Barton that I have up here so we have the cast iron cocking lever this uh, appears to be the stock let's see what we got going on there in the trigger spring hopefully maybe that's packed in somewhere else here wasn't in with that nice looking stock though got a real nice buzz barton logo on it no cracks a little bit of honest wear no big deal all right let's see what we got here so it doesn't feel like it's got a scope tube on it which is unfortunate all right, there's a little baggie. There's the trigger and the trigger spring, top screw. So we got a bunch of brass, a uh, bunch of brass, new brass hardware. That's kind of interesting. But let's go ahead and uh, I can stick this thing back together pretty quick here. Maybe I'll, I'll cut it off and I'll put this all back together. That way we don't end up with a 10, 20 minute long video for just a mail call. So stand by. Alrighty. Well, that only took a couple of minutes. I got that all put together. It is unfortunate. It's missing the, uh, the scope tube. Um, it should have um, this uh, tube up on top here. It should have a tube, something similar to that. This one's actually not even the original one either. <clears throat> but uh, that's how you that's how you actually sight the gun I guess you could probably just do it with the front sight post like that but uh, let's see let's cock it first without any BBs in it that 
sounds pretty harsh. <laughs> I wonder if there's any seals in there at all. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and throw a BB down in there and see what happens. Yeah, the BB came out. I think it was just the air tube probably hitting the BB, pushing it out. Didn't come out with any kind of force. So, all right, well, at least we've got most most of a complete gun there. Need a little adjustment with the lever lock there, but uh, pretty cool. We'll uh, get this thing tore down and uh, evaluated and see what it needs. Sounds like it's got some pretty good pop as far as the spring goes, so it probably doesn't need a spring, but we'll check that out as well and uh, check it out. So that's uh, that's half the mail call. <laughs> So now the other half of the mail call is a care package coming in from Terry over at Buckrail. Uh, I got my uh, Crossman <clears throat> 3622. You guys saw a video on that the other day. And I'm just shooting it straight out of the box. Literally got it from the mailman on my way over to the range. But I really wanted to mount a scope up on it and spoiler alert what's in the bag uh, is <laughs> going to be for this but i actually already got this thing all fixed up so i have several other guns over here that have all of these parts on them already and i just robbed the parts off of those so i could get this one uh, ready to go but uh, we've got the uh, 13xx scope mounts with a cantilever mount and a Metasco world-class scope uh, buck rail uh, metal adapter up here it's really tight but I can get the fill adapter on there um, and then a buck rail uh, silencer up top here and then to top it all off I have a grav mags uh, 5p magazine on there that came off my 1322 build. I'll get another one put on there. But let's go ahead and uh, get the stuff out of the bag that Terry sent over. So I actually did order a, so that one's a tapered uh, suppressor, but this is the straight, no, no taper, half by 20 suppressor. And we have the adapter like you saw up there I painted that one a while ago but <clears throat> that one just has a thread thread protector on it right now and that's why it kind of looks different but that just goes right on the end of the crossman sized barrels and then we have the buck rail crossman scope mounts that just clamp right onto the barrel. I stole those, so I stole those off the 3622 as well. I stole the muzzle device and suppressor off the <laughs> 2240 build, but uh, there you go. That is the scope mounts, a little Picatinny and 11 millimeter dovetail capable, and they just clamp onto the barrel <clears throat> so but there you go that's gonna be my uh, setup I'm gonna look around for a shorter cantilever mount it's a little tall it's not terrible for for eye relief but uh, it uh, it definitely works so uh, and this really makes a huge difference as far as I mean, it wasn't really loud anyway, but let me just take a couple shots with this guy and uh, let you see. So I love, it's a game changer with this, with this grab mag for sure. Of course, now I'm saying that I got a pellet, there it goes. So I just got a splatter burst uh, set up across the garage here. I don't really have this zeroed yet, but uh, you can hear how quiet the uh, <sniffs> 
Same hole. <laughs> Let me do another one. Really, really quiet. I'm pretty sure you can still get the grab mags. I'm going to hold off to the left just a little bit. There we go. But uh, there you go. That is pretty darn cool. 3622. Starting to make mods to it already. <laughs> but uh, this thing is really hand pump friendly. From completely empty, it took 70 strokes. Uh, and I got 30 really good shots. 30, actually, I counted 33 shots. The 33rd one actually dropped about 3 inches at 25 yards. But uh, 32 of them were right at point of aim. So uh, not too bad. Uh, they say up to 25 shots on their uh, on the on the box, but uh, I got 32. <laughs> but uh, there you go, pretty darn cool. Can't wait to start digging into that uh, that old Buzz Barton there. That'll be a lot of fun too. So hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.